uh, now I'm seeing one of the ducks, I guess it's a duck, that I filmed yesterday is still here. The BP workers are just passing it by. I assume this is a duck. It looks like a duck. Bless his heart. God bless us all. This is incredibly, incredibly depressing and sad. This just goes on and on and on. There are no visible wounds on that bird. Um, there were paw prints near it yesterday, but that I actually saw a man walking his dog that basically stopped and sniffed and went on. It wasn't killed by a dog. Uh, I mean, because I had filmed the bird before the man came with his dog. You'll see the uh, kind of gooey, thick, um, stringy, um, a little bit of sheen. I'm going to head over to the harbor itself and um, see what we have over there. I hear a large boat going out. Um, probably a skimmer or one of those boats. It's a rather large boat apparently. But uh, again, you know, things just aren't improving. There. Uh, varying degrees of different things. Uh, one day we'll see more foam. The next day we'll see more of the reddish sheen. Um, the the uh, tar balls are still here. Um, still keep, keep coming in in various sizes um, and in various states of degradation. Um, we, we see the tar balls some day that are very weathered, sometimes that are very weathered um, and dark colored. And then we see the tar balls sometimes that appear very fresh and very red and very gooey. Um, and looking through here, I see all of the just me previous mentioned. I see, you know, dark, crusty tar balls and I see fresh, gooey tar balls. So, uh, and uh, once again, the uh, the odor today is horrific. Um, and gives you shortness of breath, and immediately the the sinus irritation and the uh, shortness of breath. God, I used to love to come down here to take in the fresh air and and breathe and um, it was so relaxing and so um, um, you know just enjoyable and now you come down and you, it immediately makes you feel ill and um, not only does it make you feel ill physically it emotionally just rips you apart. Um, this gets it, it, it gets harder all the time. Um, now today, today it's not visually um, as bad as we've seen it, obviously. Um, but you see the dead animals. You see, you smell the the strong chemical smell, and it's, it's on those days when the chemicals are very, very strong that the water appears clearer and, uh, um, you know, so that, that part is really deceiving, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a trade-off when, when uh, the chemicals are real strong, the water appears real clear and, uh, uh, and then when the uh, odor subsides, uh, then the conditions of the water look worse. So, 
you know, the only thing I can figure is that the uh, dispersants not only clear the uh, the oil, but they clear, you know, they evidently they sink a lot more than just oil. Um, as we evidenced, as we saw with like the fish kills, the fish kills, we've had fish kills come in and uh, they, they weren't floating on the top, the fish came in on the bottom, on the bottom, uh, they weren't floating and uh, so, and it wasn't just one specific uh, species of fish like all pogies, oh there were a couple of those, but most of the fish kills that we've experienced here along the Mississippi coast have been every variety of fish that you can think of. It has been uh, like all bottom feeders, you know, we'll see flounder, we'll see catfish, we'll see oysters, we'll see, um, you know, uh, just everything that feeds off the bottom. And then the next fish kill might be uh, mid-level feeders. You know, we'll see a whole bunch of redfish, we'll see a whole bunch of trout. So, those are the kinds of things we're dealing with. Thank you.